right to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. And we'll pick this up later. Ulrik. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She... You what? Gulf. Really? Boy. I can smell... Boy. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go! for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out Look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> There was a giant once, named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Famu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Four children. And look, we found the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! 
A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick one. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. that up there. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Up ahead! I'm ready! Almost ready!
Hardened World Tree Sap. That's handy. I like crystal base, but where's the crystal? The crystal! There it is! What does it say? Sir. To Njord, we offer back the sea's bounty. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. No offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy! Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? 
More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Oh, it's a plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Carmor really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers.
Was there more to discuss? Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Wow, that was, uh, something that, uh... So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, ah! for a snow covered corpse. Careful! My shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. Do you think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But <clears throat> Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? <sighs> Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh... I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What does it say? When time itself is deserted, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Right it. Var. House. Vetter. Sumo. No, that wasn't right. It 
It didn't work. But I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Try that. Vetcher, Vower, Subar, out! It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. There. Venture. Bar. Yeah. Out. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Boy, the order from the song again. Winter, spring, summer, on. Boy. Vetter, Var, Vetter, House. Retrograde lads. What? The riddle. The answer is reversed. There. Vetter. Var. Sular. House. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Winter is last. There you go, brother. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Do it. Venter. House. Sumar. Venter. No. Want me to? No. I just need quiet. Winter. Last. You sure you quiet? Winter is last. Retrograde. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola.
Well done, lad. Write it again. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Ed, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Having a little fun, you big grump.
Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. Sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Honey, I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. Help but break things, can you? <laughs> Memory serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Oh! <laughs> 
something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Would you focus on your damn father? I mean it! I walked away! <laughs> Uncle hasn't seen straight in years. As long as father believes in So stop talking. Focus! <laughs> you can't disappoint father. Oh, smack you, boy. No, no, we can't. Uh, no, keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Us. What does Odin want? No, oh, no, don't get it. Come here, Hathaway. You're done, now. That is it. Shut up! Don't call me that! Squeak. Oh, <laughs> 
focus. Shut up! 